Um, they have two completely different stories, but the I but with identical gameplay. So it is technically two different stories. It's just I want to guess like everything is very similar. Like, same store, like two different. I don't know. Let's let's keep playing for a while. I'll play for about like an hour and see if like we're having different stories. Also, I'm going to try not to drink from my flask at all. question is there another one somewhere that's a brick yeah I'm not gonna be like as I can't go that way I shouldn't say like looking around like I'll look because apparently so what what I looked up apparently these can cause a different ending like if I find more of these I can get slightly different endings so I will kind of look around more for those, but as for other stuff, I'm not going to be too concerned about it. Now what's this? My, My weapon broke, but it didn't say anything. Okay. No ammo. Still no sound with that, by the way. Yeah, it's saying two completely different stories. It's just the I, I need the key. The gameplay is identical. So I think if that's the case, I'll probably still play the whole game again. Go that way. But I'm not like I want to know what this different story is and wonder if the ending is similar. me to ring the bell. Damn, your head got blown off.
Dorsetto, looking for my uncle Jeremy? Jeremy's your uncle. I didn't know. Why would you? You're still working at Dorsetto? Yeah, both me and Lada stuck around. We're real orderless now. Y you remember my sister Lada, don't you? What happened, Batiste? How are we here? You know about the dark man haunting your uncle? I'm familiar with his mental state. I think we all in his head somehow. Because these streets are real, but they're not like on any map. Nah, this is like when you remember something, but in the wrong way. Do you know how to get back to Dorsetto? I'm not safe here. True words have yet been spoken, Mrs. Marcus. Don't call me that. It's Miss Emily Hartwood. There's no reason to call me anything else. I'm sorry, Miss Emily. I'm just trying to tell you like it is. This place ain't safe for no one. There's evil hiding in the dark. How do I get back? Only Jeremy knows how. He has this juju necklace guiding him. You mean this talisman? Mm-hmm. Just like it. He says it's been protecting him. Ever since he got it from Miss Jackson down the street. You know where it came from? Have you been there? I was there no more than one hour ago looking for Jeremy. Locked it up to keep the ghouls from getting inside. You can have the key if you want. Thank you. I'll take a look. Stay safe, miss. Thank you for the ammo. The ammo. But yeah, it seems like the stories are completely different, but like everything's exactly the same. It's just the only, the big difference is, is like when you get back from the areas. Are you staying here? For a while. Want to see if Jeremy shows up. All right. Did I miss anything in here? Like, is there like one of those like odd areas or like, Whatever they're called, the collectibles. I also assume that maybe the achievements are different for the game. No ammo. I'm also not gonna try to drink out of my flask. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna try not to do that. I wanna see if we're gonna regen health. We come in a lot, so. for the ammo I'm like there should be some more around here I have a flashlight I should use it I wish you could hold like a Molotov Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> this must be Miss Jackson's place. No, okay, I was about to say, like, no way he's got stuck. This time I know how the talisman works, so I'm so glad uh, I can do that. It looks exactly like Jeremy's talisman. I think it's meant to hold the talisman. I'm not sure what numbers I should use. Maybe there's something in Jeremy's notes. There should be. Um, probably this one. Three, five, eight. in the glass where is that pretty sure it's here so is there anything else in this room or this area can I like enter any other apartments Good to see you again, Miss Hartwood. Mrs. Thompson told me you were here. She also alerted me that you brought a detective with you. I'm very curious to hear what this is all about. You don't remember me, do you, Miss Hartwood? We met at your family's house in the Garden District when your uncle was about to be admitted under my care. No, I remember. Sorry. I'm not really feeling well. Oh. In that case, have a seat. Let me make you a drink. I don't seem to have made much of an impression on you. On the other hand, I can vividly recall you and your parents. Because of our cheerful disposition, I'm sure. You are far too intelligent to think that. You come from a joyless family, Miss Hartwood. The only amusement I took from my visit was discovering that the young lady's drink was an old-fashioned. Very astute. Is that supposed to make you seem attentive or intelligent? Whatever you prefer. Are you ready to tell me why you are here, Miss Hartwood? And why you brought a detective? I received a letter from my uncle. He seemed certain that he was in danger here. If I find out you're treating him badly, I'll be taking him back with me to New Orleans. Really? Is he going to live with you in your tiny garçonniere? That would be a spectacular way to ratify your spinsterhood. Because you are well aware that your father would never let him back in his house. No, I have it. Maybe you can bring him back up north. You've been wanting to move back for quite a few years, haven't you? You always preferred your mother's side of the family. Jeremy is free to leave with you. I won't object. However, there is one problem, as you might have learned. He is, in fact, missing. Do you know where he could have gone? No, I'm afraid I don't. I have my staff looking for him. I'm sure he will show up eventually. Especially if he learns that you are here. He is quite fond of you. What can you tell me about his condition? I never heard a proper diagnosis. What is your medical opinion of him? Well, let me think. He is an anxious man, depressed, even. He suffers from a perceived lack of order in his inner and outer life. He constantly complains about events not presenting themselves according to their divine nature. In the dark man? Hard to tell if it was ever anything specific. Jeremy uses the Dark Man as a psychological scapegoat to avoid facing the truth that he is in any way at fault. 
You don't think there can be any truth to the Dark Man's supernatural existence? Why would you ask that? I... Can we ever be sure? If the Dark Man is some sort of evil presence that is in possession of Jeremy? Well... I assure you, any evidence that you experience supporting that claim is purely delusional. Don't get caught up in mass hysteria, Miss Hartwood. You wouldn't want to take your uncle's place in this hospital, would you? Uh, I'll be leaving now, Doctor. I need to keep looking for my uncle. Do so, Miss Hartwood. I'll let you know if he shows up. Now playing through the game once, it's it's a little weird. Okay, I don't think I get achievements once you hit a chapter. So what's the difference? So what is all these missing achievements I have? Detective Carnby. God, I'm I'm glad to see you. I was afraid you had left. Me? You're the one who just disappeared. It's hard to explain. I think I blacked out. I it was like I went somewhere else. It's okay, miss. You're clearly upset. No, it's... I don't know what's happening. I, this is a very stressful situation for you, I understand. Ugh, no, you don't understand. Just take a deep breath. Why don't you sit down, smoke some of the Perique. If you want, I could even drive you back to New Orleans. I just want to have a talk with Dr. Gray first. I want to stay. I found a talisman just like the one in the painting. I think I might be able to figure out where Tarawea is, where Jeremy wanted to go. That's great. Just stay out of trouble, okay? Let me handle the investigation. I'm not crazy, Detective. Not yet. <laughs> okay, catch you later. I like how nobody ever addresses the blood. All right, so I wanted to check something out really fast. Speaking of achievements. So did you say do chapter two? Or, um... Why did I ever get uh, achievements for chapters? I'm like, pretty sure I did. Maybe I didn't. Okay, so there's no achievements for... If a talisman like this can open up doors between the French Quarter and Rosetto, then maybe Jeremy is hiding in some strange other world. Like... Paul, you're right about the plates on the boiler and the clock. They have been sabotaged, and I think I know who did it. They have something to do with Jeremy's episodes and how he seems to disappear at night. Right now, it's important that you keep an eye out for any of the pieces. I want to find out if I can repair the plates. Let me know if you find any of them. Lottie. Tell Lottie to take a look at the well. Tarawea. Who's all, also, Place who the hell is Mr. Waits? Dr. Elmore Lee Gray is DeSetto. No matter where he is, it's clear that my search won't be limited to Dorsetto. Saw you notice in the boiler room. Okay. But yeah, like I said, we have all the key notes. Or we have all like the notes are seemingly the same. Interesting. It's all a patient file. It looks sturdy. Doubt I'll be opening this. Dip. Lottie's room, clerk's office. I also didn't like make sure to grab everything. In every room before ending the game. So. Also, sorry if you hear anything. Room six. No problem.